don't know. Listen, Kyle, you're disobeying Keith Carberry's one rule of comedy, which is commitment over clarity. Uh, have you found Alessa yet? Uh-oh. Oh, mother. Oh, fucker. no. How is Walter's progress coming? Send me a report. Oh, this cat's sweet. Hi, cat. You're going to make me ill. Remember when they said originally that Silent Hill Homecoming was supposed to uh, end with some kind of Dragon Ball Z battle between Alessa and Pyramid Head above Lake Toluca? Or Toluca Lake? <laughs> yep, I do. That sounds like the worst thing, but in a way, wouldn't it kind of be the uh, best I thing? It would kind of be the best thing, although better setting than above Toluca Lake in Barneelys. Oh, fuck. A Dragon Ball Z battle that, that destroys Barney. You know what? Let's rewind and pretend like Silent Hills isn't being made. You know who's like, oh, man, if what's-his-face is in that Konami, who's going to make Silent Hill now? Us. Us. God, we'd be... Listen, the amount of... The amount of... Um, we could make a fucking Silent Hill game. Yeah. The second sign, and God said, offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil but then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven from the darkness and void bring forth gloom the g- and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. Yeah, gird thyself. Gird you thyself. Know what I'm saying? The third sign, and God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four atonements be in alignment. Return to the fourth, really? The four atonements. Fourth? I said four you said atonements. Re- you said return to the Thors. I said four atonements. That said, we're talking about different sentences. Go back. Read that. Oh, I got the source placard. Oh, dip. Listen, Kyle. It shows Sometimes when you're cold reading, you just got to run past those mistakes. You're way too hung up on grammar, buddy. Captain Placard was my favorite Star Trek. <laughs> that would have been funnier to say if we got a placard called Captain Placard. But, you know, whatever. Listen, Kyle, you just gotta go with it. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Just gotta roll with it. It could have been It could have been better if, but don't let these fucking audience jerk-offs know that. They get what you give them, motherfucker. You're the king here. Right? Say it with me. I'm the king I'm, here. Y- yeah, you're the king here. Yeah, We're the kings here. Fuck. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You made the joke you made, and you gotta we gotta all live with that. So we got this placard. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. It's what like do we do with the sounds. other placard? Oh, we can just go in now. Placard. Oh, and now there's gonna be a cutscene, and then we leave. Oh, dude! Why'd you do that? That was some fucking really O-curse chocolate milk. Yeah. O-curse chocolate milk. Highly flammable. <laughs> No. I was Dude, re- help him. What are you doing? I was really attached to that weird drug addict who needed chocolate milk. 17121. One. I finally met him. The one the nosy guy talked about. The devil. <sighs> Why didn't we try to help him? What's our guy's name? Harry or Henry? What are you supposed to fucking... Henry. Henry. I can never remember. It's not my fault. Just tr- Just think back to uh, which one was... Well, the problem is that I go, which one is the other one, Harry or Henry? The 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim... The police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. The Walter Sullivan case. <sighs> Poor Wally. Ashfield window a minute. I realize we're not very far through this game, but I feel like this window has not given us very much thus far. This window gave us a phone number. That was a total dead end. Thanks, 100,000 comments. Uh, Hotel South Ashfield. I really feel like I'm coming back to this window purely based on faith. Yeah. This is a faith-based window for sure. Um, We got... What else we got? Faith-based window, by the way, has a really new... um, A really new... (laughs) Really new... I mean, it's really good, and it's a really new hot single. 
Oh, the doorbell? Telephone? Hey. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Yes, I Help am. Help me! There's something wrong with this room! <laughs> it's this room! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? What's going on here? I feel like him clearly being trapped in some kind of hell curse and <clears throat> saying that there's something wrong with the room just immediately reminds me of uh, the jerk when he's like, he hates these cans! <laughs> that guy hates these cans! Like, completely missing the point <laughs> that he's being targeted. It's this room! There's something wrong with this room! <laughs> uh, man, you gotta watch the jerk. I probably should. Key. Right key, wrong hole, right? Oh, that guy's a silver of fox. My life. Yeah, right? Look else. at that guy. What's silver fox? That's just like a... That's just like hey, a... Hey, fucking superintendent, why don't you clean up all those weird bloody handprints on the wall? Oh. Yeah, what a gross out keeping those around. A silver fox is an attractive old, older man with gray hair. Gross. Well, you wouldn't fuck that guy? <laughs> I mean, not a... I'm not gonna fuck a video game, old man. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not a weird sexual deviant. I'm not attracted to polygons. What do you think I am? Now let's go spy on our neighbor. <laughs> You're a fucking creep. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Don't. You're being weird. All right. Don't. You don't talk like that. Hey, ever. what are you doing? Nothing. We have to leave. What are you doing over don't, there? Please don't. You look. <laughs> you are you okay? How are we, Kyle? How are we going to record Run Button if I file a restraining order against <laughs> your voice? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, whoa, whoa. She's See something? You fucking creeped her. Something exciting is happening over there. You gonna come back? No. Come hey, that's on. the bun that's the bunny from the last game, right? Yeah, I already mentioned that. I forgot there was a bunny in the last game, and I don't listen to you. Lame. Hey, remember the show Freakazoid? Oh man, I guess so. That's weird, right? That I have like I have these really vague memories of Freakazoid. <sighs> That's fucking weird. That was it fucking. Was, it was, was like a, that Warner Brothers thing, right? Yeah, and it was he was voiced by uh by, sit dude that was in fucking Mall Rats and he skateboards. <laughs> Jason <laughs> Lee. Oh okay. Yeah, fucking Jason Lee. He skateboarded in Mallrats? No, no, no. He is a professional oh, he skateboarder. Oh, skateboards. Okay, you yeah. confused me. Yeah. If you just said it was a guy in Mallrats, he was the voice I of he was the voice help. of of Freakazoid. Okay. Was that weird? Isn't that weird that I have like almost a memory of what that was? It was like a guy. He, he was like a he was a real nerdo, but he was like, no, I'm also a superhero named Freakazoid, and he had he was a, a real goofball kind of guy, huh? Don't you think I'm funny and wacky? Yeah, it was kind of like The Mask, but even worse. I don't know if I don't have no judgment on the quality. I have barely a memory of the show at all. I recently saw a bit of The Mask. Boy, I don't know about that movie at all. That's probably, yeah, it's probably not any good. I'm gonna get a bunch of fucking mask supporters. Bunch of mask apologists. Yeah. The, yeah every time you talk about that, a, a, that about hole a movie, is definitely bigger. And is there uh, someone in the tub? Of course, there's not anybody in the tub. Of course, there's no one. In the you tub. fucking idiot. There's, of course, there's nobody in the tub. Why would there be somebody in your tub? So that sounds like to me. Anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Every time you know, there's a lot of movies that people are, are really into. There, this is no time to be taking. This is no shower. time to be taking. I don't shower. know. You've got plenty of free time. It's yeah, you've got time only free time. What like? He's been all you here all for you can do week. all you can go is go to disgusting weird places and take a shower. That's literally the only two options you have. We right can now. read that Ian Rand that he found on his on his dresser. Mm. Um, 
Can you name a third Atlas? Sh- uh, third Atlas? Third no, I, I know. Do two. you know the third in the Atlas Shrugged trilogy? I yeah, I only know the Fountainhead and Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, those are the only. Two are I there remember. more than that? I'm I don't even sure know if there, are. there are. Let's see. Let's look I up. Know. Let's look it up. Dude, do you fucking remember that vice presidential candidate who said that anybody that worked in his office had to read The Fountainhead, but also he completely disagreed with Ayn Rand's political philosophies? Remember that fucking guy? Yeah, conservatives are weirdos. <sighs> yeah, there's lots of things. There's lots of things about Ayn Rand's political philosophies that, that like, <laughs> that a conservative would be like, oh, no, I don't like that at all. Like, she was... Uh, uh, pro-choice and anti anything about religion, and th- that those are like two of the biggest reversals of conservative platform that you can have. But he's clearly lying. Is my point that he it makes just people... like the biggest weirdest lie. Like everyone who works for me has to read the Fountainhead, but I completely disagree with a- Ayn Rand's philosophies. Like, okay, a lot of them do not disagree at all. Well, except for those two things that I named. Ayn Rand's awful, and also. Conservative politics are awful, but for different reasons, overlapping reasons. What's this? Okay, What's going on thank here? Thank you. We're in a new place. I didn't realize there was a cutscene happening. Uh, so this is Water Prison World. Man, that's not creative. Which sounds like just the the best sequel to Water World ever. Oh, these things are like We're talking what? about. Whoa, look at these things. We the Living, The Fountainhead, Atlas Shrugged, Anthem, and then a bunch of essays. Capitalism, The Unknown Ideal, The Romantic Manifesto, The New Left, The Entry Industrial Revolution, Introduction Jeez. to Objectivist Epistemology, Philosophy Who Needs It. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a Fuck good one. You. That sounds like one of that sounds like a fake book that is named at the beginning <laughs> of uh of um uh, that Checker's sound- Guide when when at the when they're naming like <laughs> yeah. bestsellers, philosophy who needs it, uh, God where we went wrong, <laughs> which also sounds like an Ayn Rand book. Maybe that was part of her later years, where like a- where people tend thing. Uh, where people tend to become like parodies of themselves. Yeah, that was, was her say. George Carlin's last couple specials. Oof. Um. The virtue of selfishness. She's not still alive, is she? No, she's f- fucking wicked dead. <laughs> wicked she's dead. wicked dead. So when dead, you said dude. it's her latest thing, you sh- really meant that it was her last thing. Sure. It was, yeah. So she, when, she died when in 82 that? and it was written in 82. Okay, 82. <laughs> she's wicked dead. She's fucking wicked dead, dude. Walter's gonna kill me. Oh, Walter's gonna kill me. All right. Sully? Sully's gonna kill him? Dude, found magazine. Luckily, I escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around the building. Around this building. The scariest place is the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the north right. right. There's a kitchen in the north right. It's harder it's, than it seems. It, yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard to look to read a word and purposefully say something different. There's a kitchen in the north right, but the door, the next door in the north left is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. What were you going to say? Have, do you know about Found Magazine? Um, mm. Is that a magazine filled with pe- notes that people have found yes. and send in? Then yes. Okay. Do you want to talk about it? Or occasionally, you just I, know I, I, I just know it because I started listening to uh, Bullseye, and occasionally Jesse Thorne has like the editor of that on to read some of his favorite found things. And all I can remember was one that was a receipt that they <laughs> that someone found, and their receipt basically read a uh, gun, gun, ski mask, nerds. <laughs> nerds candy <laughs> like that was a some banner real- day for that guy <laughs> some dude with a sweet tooth <laughs> is really into uh uh ah uh, uh, shit tart uh, tart candies no wait fuck uh, hold on i'm gonna think of a word and then we're gonna go back and i'm gonna redo that joke um okay some dude with a sweet tooth is really into biathlons 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Fucking pound that. Pound that out. Nail that, that shit. Can I get a high five for that? Yeah. Yeah. Right off the dome. Like maybe the yeah. Maybe this was just <laughs> like maybe this was a diabetic biathlete that was low had low blood sugar. Yeah. Sure. To get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of the complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. However, on the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. All right, let me actually read this now instead of just wait for you to read it. I just read it. Why weren't you listening to me? Because I just, I can't hear you say it. I don't know. Okay, so. I couldn't take it in. The na- you, ha- you navigate floors oh, using the, stop it. Using the, I can't the body shoots, right? But the second and third floors are locked, and also there's only lights on the third floor. You jerk off. This is not it. This is not it's it. It's exploration memo. Thanks. The next one. It's the other one. Mm-mm. Oh, come on. Mm. That's a weird way to design your surveillance rooms. You have to go to corpse disposal chutes. Mm-hmm. All right. So far, no boss fights. No boss fights. That's nice. So far... Oh, but although, hold on. Silent Hill does not have a lot of boss fights. Whoa, it's different now. Oh, man, that was cool. Uh, Wait, what? Silent Hill does not have a lot of boss fights. Um, I think it do. There, right, was, so- there was like a boss fight at the end of like every location in the first three Silent Hill games. Really? Basically, I mean, I think. Oh yeah, so. I guess I think three had a lot more than the other ones did. I don't remember Silent Hill one at all. Ooh, 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 we got a note. Ooh, we got ooh, a letter. Ooh. We got mail. More red paper. He hasn't tried to stick any notes under there. <laughs> Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down that what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. Oh. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. 01121, 02121, 03121, 04121, 05121, 06121, 07121, 08121, 09121, 10121. The name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. Sullivan. April 4. I wonder what that last bit means. Red Diary, April 4. April 4? April 4. The 4th April of... Since when? Ooh. The 4th April after... I'm sick of this, this bug thing. This fucking lady over here is like constantly being harassed by invisible bees. Maybe it's one of those bat bugs that we have around. And we just can't see it. Do you guys want to have a window minute? I guess we could have a window man. Why would you think she would be in there? We just saw her flying the bees. I don't know. I don't know how things work in the mysterious mid-sized city of Ashfield. I don't remember putting pushing the button on the remote control. Oh, the TV's on. I don't remember. I don't remember turning this on. Not concerned enough to shut it off. No, it says when he pushes the power button. It says uh, okay. On. Shithead. I'm sorry. God. How long have we been doing this? Oh, I don't know. Looks like an hour. Looks like forever. Forever. That's a movie that's probably shitty. Sandlot? That's probably a piece of shit. Uh, Sandlot? No, Sandlot's pretty good. Is it? I just recently saw it, yeah. That's, that can't be right. It's all right. You know, like there is, you know, it's probably not as good as you remember it being, but it's still a good movie. Um... You know what movie I saw that is... I mean, we must have talked about how I saw Spaceballs and was like the fucking worst. 
Uh, Spaceballs still has really some bad. great bits in it. It has though. some great bits, but overall, I like, feel like basically, Mel Brooks could not have understood any less what sci-fi was about. And so watching I don't, him trying to... I don't think he cared. But, uh, yeah, that's, Here, the, that's here's the, the fucking thing. problem. Like, Here, that's the, the, the issue secret the is you go back and watch almost anything Mel Brooks ever did, and it's almost certainly not nearly as good as you remember it being. But that doesn't mean, like any like every single moment with Rick Moranis in Spaceballs wasn't hilarious. Um I think that the person that really shines in that movie was the fucking first mate or the colonel or whatever he was. Do you know who I'm talking about? I think so. You like the like guy's second in the, command. Like the guy who says like we're at now now. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. That guy every fucking line that that guy delivers <laughs> is perfect. And then everything else about that movie is like B minus to D plus. Like, but that's what I'm talking about. When you watch, we're at now, now. Yeah, everything that's happening now, now is, is happening, happening now. now. That is a fucking great <laughs> bit. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, but what are you doing? Oh, okay. Ah! Um. So, but like, if you watch, if you watch Blazing Saddles, right? Blazing Saddles is a movie that is. It, like I think really understands the two things that it's trying to do. Uh, Blazing Saddles, still a movie that I have owned on Blu-ray for over a year and have never seen. Watch Blazing Saddles. This has a lot of problems, but it's also really good. Is the problem that it's like really racist? The problem is that because it's it's parodying it's parodying racism, okay. right? And it does that probably really well for when it was made. Okay. And it's not like so. Some of that stuff is like pretty gross now, and like oh, this it is, guy, this guy won't die. Yeah, it's, some of that stuff is pretty gross now, but like it, re, like I think it really understood what it was doing in its time, and also understood what westerns were. And I feel the same way about you know like like Young Frankenstein, n- n- like knew understood the genre that it was parodying. And another Blazing, movie I haven't seen. How about Robin Hood Menetites? Yes. Also, same deal. I just think that he had no idea what sci-fi movies were and didn't care and just was like grabbing at popular references and it, mm. it doesn't, it's bad. A lot of it's pretty bad. Um, any scene with, any scene with uh, yogurt is fucking terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yogurt is the worst. Yep, yep. The, f- uh, <laughs> the uh, worst thing, the, probably the- one of the least funny things I've ever seen in my entire life is when yogurt describes the force and then uh, you mean the, the dude, force oh, no, no. And then, by the way could oh, I oh you mean the force John Cady says oh you mean the force he's like no the Schwartz the Schwartz by That's the way the replacing the force with the Schwartz is like that is a joke that I made up in third grade. Like, not literally, but that's that's just a, a joke that a third grader would make up. That's yeah, ter- really yeah, weak. It's super weak. Um, uh, I'm your father's mother's brother's blah, blah, blah. That's super weak. Yeah, yeah. Like that was week. hilarious to me when I was in, like, third grade. Uh, yeah, yeah, that also right. was hilarious to me in third grade. And, like, well, fucking other movies that... Other movies that... Uh, Oh, Mel oh, Brooks' oh, mate oh, is not. Oh, oh, what's this up here? I can't open it very wide. Put us, put a, put one of your tablets in there. I can't open it very wide. What the fuck? That's not even words. What you just said. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't expect that to. Work. It looked like there was a slot down there. Hey, um, how much do you want? Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. I was about to reveal. I uh, remember when I said that I went to the front page of uh, Niggeroth's uh, Let's Play and I learned some things about where we would go in the game. Yeah. I was about to reveal foreknowledge of uh, some parts of the game, but I shouldn't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Why were you there again? What were you doing? Um, I don't remember. But, you know, I was just kind of checking out. Like, I think I was going to look at... Hold on, let me get adjust this. Yeah, and like the space balls bit where he's, you know, like everyone is an a- everyone's an asshole. I'm surrounded by assholes. Yeah. Yeah, space balls is pretty bad. There's there's still like a couple really fucking good bits in there. Yeah. I still I like mean, maybe I've, against maybe against better judgment, still really like the uh bleeps, sweeps and creeps bit with Michael Winslow. Yeah, sure. Like yeah, like the 
That's like that's still yep, pretty yep, good. Yep, you're basically Michael Winslow. Yeah, you I'm just, basically. Yep, you yeah. continue to prove it. Uh, I can make any fucking noise. No, please no. You know, like the yeah. the, the radar getting jammed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's like a lot of bad jokes in that movie. Yeah, a lot of really bad jokes. Yeah. Um, yeah, like uh, just it, a lot of it. A lot of the worst jokes just feel like him not understanding what people like about sci-fi. Uh, I don't know that it matters necessarily because, like, I think it definitely. Even like, if you're parodying a genre, you should hold know. On. You should understand. Even Star Wars is. Barely sci-fi, but a lot of it is also start. But yeah, no, you're right. Like, but so, so when okay, you so, when you go, but deep that doesn't on... make it. That doesn't make him understand Star Wars any better. Star Wars is barely sci. Star Star Wars is fantasy in a sci-fi setting. It, but um, mm. but like he still doesn't. I just still don't think he understood what was making that stuff work. In the same way that he understood other movies that he made. Which sucked because that movie was like such a huge part of my 12 year old understanding of what was funny. And then to rewatch it and be like, this is just. Listen, the that. Fucking... Listen, the, the. We're at now, now. Like, that whole sequence that of is them. Great. That is, like, one of the greatest. We're at bits now, now. Ever. Everything that's happening now is happening now. What happened then? We're past, we're past then. It. Yeah, that's really good. But you know Colonel what? You Sanders, know what? I'll that was this. his name. Colonel Sanders. I'll say, that, oh yeah, Cur yes, Colonel, Sanders. Colonel Sanders, yes. I'll say, listen, if you haven't seen Spaceballs, though, still go see it, though. No, no. no, no. Go watch Spaceballs. Don't watch Spaceballs. Go watch Spaceballs. I say don't watch Spaceballs. Or go watch Spaceballs and then fucking write to me on Twitter, at something dumb, that you agree with me. Go watch Spaceballs. I wa hey, Keith, I watched Spaceballs. You were right. This movie's a I mean, you pile should, of you shit. You should at least still see that bit that we can't stop quoting. It's really good. Everything, I, I will say again, everything, every line that Colonel Sanders says is fucking golden. That guy nails everything about that whole movie. He's the glue that ties that movie together. Lone Star sure isn't doing it. Lone Star is fine. Were you getting on Lone Star's case now? Jo John Candy... God, I fucking love John Candy. John Candy's certainly not doing anything in that movie. You're probably right. Yeah. Pizza the Hut. That's like a super weak joke. Am I getting anywhere with any of this shit? Am I no, just going in a circle? I have no idea. Yeah. Pizza the Hut was a bad joke. Um, yeah. Although I do still like Pizza the Hut's Android... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Who Android underling. Guy? Uh, Fuck. and he's got a message for you. Like that. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, did you, did you just do that on purpose? Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Kyle just did the that dude's like like robot neck twitch that was fucking super on point. This is the thing that people that people get that, uh, that I need right, to say, so Kyle. Getting... No, this isn't about space balls. This is about every. Listen. No, no, no. I'm getting kind of. This is about I'm everything. Not, I'm not quite. No You're not feeling this anymore. Right do you need? Do we need to take a, a Silent Hill break? No, it's not that I'm feeling it. I'm just. I'm getting lost. Okay. I, I when people hear me go, this thing is fucking stupid. What they hear is. But here, here's the thing, though. Yeah. I haven't seen space balls in a while, so. I, I I'm, it's not like I'm months trusting ago. you in a little a, a little bit here, and and here's the other thing. Oh shit! I just remembered a whole Doctor Who thing that I need to take you to task about. Okay. But you know, I I was like with you. You're complaining all about the new season of Doctor Who, and I'm like, oh, it's too bad that the all most this, recent episode was really good. By the way, too, too bad all this stuff you're saying is definitely true. But now I'm hearing all these other people I'm hearing from saying it's really good. Though, probably a bunch so of I fucking idiots. I don't though. fucking know. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they're a bunch of fucking idiots. They know who, they know who they are. Yeah. They're fucking idiots. See, the reason that I complain about this stuff though, Kyle, and it, this is this brings me back to the point that I was about to make is that I loved Spaceballs for a really long time and I can still really appreciate 
with the fondness that I had for it, but so, because I loved it, I'm a lot. I'm willing to c- critique the things that maybe don't hold up about yes. it. it that, I mean, that's a good point. Just because you love something doesn't mean you can't criticize it. Don't right. hold and hold on too tight. I criticize things because I love them. Yes, there you go. Um, sweet. Fair I would sweet. say at some point I have to, I probably have to activate something that drops water that starts spinning this wheel and that'll yeah. probably open those doors or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna.